Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to 8.1.4 Paths for Exploration. We are going to do Weapon Node that is going to be Cosmic Control Rod, Non-Damaging Debuffs and a Wall Knockdown along with Cold Turkey. So, the Defender will have a Non-Damaging debuff, debuff on them, they will get a Fury on them. The way you can disarm it is you can take a Defender to a wall and knock them down into the wall that will remove the, uh, that will unarm, disarm them. While they are unarmed, if you have a non-damaging debuff on them, they will take 200% extra damage. Now remember not to take any skill champion that can uh, remove a debuff from themselves. Because whenever they do, you will get 30% attack toward, uh, as degeneration on yourself. So any shrug off champions would not work here. Your best champions will be that have easy access to non-damaging debuffs. That will be mostly your science champions or your cosmic champions with the armor breaks. And anti-robotic and metal champions also work really well because there's quite a few robot champions. The boss we're going to attempt is going to be Proxima Midnight. Moon on her later in the video. Let's jump into the first fight and the defender is going to be an Omega Sentinel. Now she's a robot champion. I've brought in a Nebula and I'm going to build up all of those charges and then build up to an SP2. Now this will bypass all the nodes that are there you don't have to do it this way but because they are robot champions you can have the liberty to use all of those anti-robotic champions so i'm talking about your medusas i'm talking about your arcus your nebula also venom pool works too a bit also uh, magneto can work as well not the best option but still he can work too so you can bring all of these champions now i think i will have almost 18 charges and i'll throw them i'll use my sp2 so you can bring in any anti-robotic champion and you should be able to take down a mega sentinel now if you don't have an anti-robotic champion you can bring champions that have a lot of debuffs so i'm talking about mr fantastic i'm talking about void also another good champion is going to be anti-venom you can use captain america infinity war with all the synergies for different classes so you can use that as well but for that you need to take the defender to their side of the wall corner them and then knock them down they have uh, the developers have named it wall knockdown so you have to wall knock down uh, the defender to remove the weapon node and then you are able to do extra 200 damage because of non-damaging debuffs we will check that out in the next defender so let's go there guys The next defender is going to be a Jubilee. Now I was trying to knock her down with a parry and heavy and I was wondering why the weapon node is not being disarmed. But I failed to see that it's a wall knockdown, it's not just a knockdown. So eventually I got hold of it, I checked the nodes again and I had to take her to her corner. And then you have to knock her down into the wall and that will disable the node. So right there. There is the node disabled and now any dong damaging debuff I have on her will do extra damage. That can be a armor break, that can be a parry, that can be anything that will amplify the damage. Look at that SP2 damage because the armor breaks are there. So that's one thing you need to take care about. It took me one or two fights to understand that but when I had that I just keep kept her to the corner. Look at that critical hit. 78,000 again 26,000. So yeah, so best way is to corner the champion, use parry heavy style and you should be able to get through this fight. For, uh, totally easily jubilee sp1 and sp2 are both easily available but i would suggest you to keep her only to sp1 Next up is going to be a Nebula, pretty easy champion. She's a metal champion, so I brought in a Magneto, just parry and heavy, build up to 40 prowess charges, throw an SP3, and because of the armor break, she will die quick. You don't even have to worry about the cosmic control rod and everything else. You should be easily able to take her down. Metal champion, mags, just rules everything. Both specials can be evaded, but I would rather keep her to an SP1 only. The animation is much more slower. And yeah, that's about it for this fight, man. Uh, there are going to be some other champions you can use a medusa also you can use a arcus also you can use a venom pool all can work here
the next defender is going to be a killmonger now i went with an archangel which arguably wasn't the best choice here and also he was very trigger happy with his sp1 so i would suggest that the better option is going to be with a cosmic champion that has armor break or any champion that has armor break for that matter so for example i think uh Magneto would have worked better, Corvus Glaive would have worked better here, uh, even your uh, for the whole path even, you can bring in Hercules with Captain America Infinity War, that synergy with the armor break would work really good here as well for the whole path because it is a non-damaging debuff and it's easy for Hercules to corner the opponent. So if I have to do this path again, I would probably go with Hercules with a Captain America Infinity War synergy and bring in champions that have easy access to armor break so I can control Killmonger and all the other defenders. It can be any non-damaging debuff, so Cosmic Champions can also run Riot with all of their armor breaks. Again, um, I think I died here because of the reverberation I had to bring back uh, with another champion to take him down. So if you're going to do this part, I would suggest you get a better alternative and uh, you should be able to get through this fight relatively easy. The next defender is going to be an Emma Frost. Now, she is all about your armor break. So bring in an armor break champion, take her to a corner, knock her down, and the weapon control rod will be disabled. And as long as the armor up is on there, you will be doing extra damage on your special ones and special twos. Now I have her in the corner, just waiting for the reverse controls, and I should be able to knock her down with an SP2. So once the first loop takes a bit of time, but once you get her down, then it's much easier. Again, this fight would be much more easier if you're going to use an armor break champion from the beginning. So Corvus Glaive, Angela, um, Medusa. You can also use Hercules with Captain Mech Infinity War. You can also use uh, Silver Surfer. So as long as you have those armor breaks up, you should be able to run through this path very, very easily. Just remember, do not bring in a champion that has shrug off. Otherwise, the cold turkey node will be really annoying and might kill you off.
Last defender is going to be a Nimrod who is also a robot. Now I went with Venompool, but Venompool takes a bit of time to build up. And if you're in for that, you can use him. But I would suggest a better champion would be Nebula or would be Arcus or even a Medusa. I would also say that Hercules with the Captain America Infinity Watch Energy would be better. So yeah, if I did this path again, it wouldn't be this long. I can finish the path in probably 11 to 12 minutes with other champions. So make sure to check out the screen in the beginning of the video. And you can bring in better options than mine and you can take them out. But these options also work. There's nothing wrong with that. You can get the path done without any revives or any units used. So yeah, I hope this helps you out. With Nimrod, you just have to wait out the uns stoppables uh, you could try to remove them with an sp1 of venom pool uh, that might work but uh, it's a slow build up to an sp3 and that will uh, put the degen on the opponent and that degen will do most of the damage but i would suggest you bring another champion that is anti-robotic and that would be much faster but anyway all of these champions work i would suggest you to go with more armor break champions more cosmic champions so you can finish off this path much much quicker The next defender and the boss is going to be Proxima Midnight. Now she is a metal champion. We're going to bring in a Magneto, Parry and Heavy. Build up to 40 prowess charges and let the SP3 rip. The only difficult part here will be her specials will be unblockable. And also she is going to be unblockable once you parry her because of be like water. Now I am using the pacify 3 by 3 so that reduces the chance of it. But every now and then you will notice that she will go unblockable. Now for that I would suggest you to bring in a white max free fight. And that will convert the stun into a passive one. And because of that she will not go unblockable. So that can make the fight much more easier. So just sp3 with 240, uh, 240 prowesses. And you should be able to take her down easily. So other champions that you can use here can be your doom, can be your magic, can be your even Hyperion or uh, Black Widow Deadly Ridge, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. So different champions are available for this fight. I find Magneto to be the easiest, so I've used him twice. I hope this helps you out. Make sure to check the other videos out in the playlist of 8.1, and I'll see you at the end of the video.
Thank you so much for joining in guys. I hope this video helps you out and helps you clear this path. We'll be doing the others for 8.1.4 so stay tuned to the channel and keep checking the playlist. I'm regularly updating it and apart from that guys I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.